हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द प्रोग्रामिंग फील्ड्स आप उमेश राणा एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ लारावेल 11 सीरीज वी एक्सप्लोर द इनम्स इन लारावेल 11 एंड हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट इट यूजिंग कमांड लाइन एंड हाउ टू यूज देम इफेक्टिवली इन योर लारावेल 11 एप्लीकेशन नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डाइव इन अवर नेक्स्ट न्यू फीचर इन लारावेल 11 दैट कैन मेक योर डिबगिंग लाइफ अ लॉट इजियर द डम्पेबल ट्रेट एवर स्पेंड आवर्स ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट वाई लारावेल कोड इज नॉट वर्किंग द वे यू एक्सपेक्ट राइट Trust me, we have all been there. Debugging can be a real pain, especially when dealing with complex logic. That's where the dumpable trait comes in. So, what exactly is the dumpable trait? So, basically, this is a new feature introduced in Laravel 11 that provides two handy methods for debugging directly within your classes. And you are already familiar with these. So, these methods are called dump and die and dump. Now you might be familiar with the dump and die helper function. It is a great tool for dumping variables and expression to the browser output and stopping the code execution. The dumpable trait basically gives you the same functionality. So now you can call it directly on your object. Now why is that important? Well, it improves code readability. It is cleaner and more concise. Plus, it allows you to chain multiple dump calls within your code. and which can be very helpful for inspecting variables at different stage of your code logic all right let's get down to the business and see how this works step by step so i have navigated to the vs code editor and i already have one laravel 11 application set up so at the very first step we will check the .env file so inside this .env file we have the default db connection sqlite all right so in laravel 11 this will come by default with sqlite and according to this database migrations all these schemas are dumped inside sqlite database so if i will check out to the database sqlite then we can see we have the following tables so currently inside this users table we don't have any data so firstly i will create some dummy data for the testing purpose so for that we already have the factories inside this factories folder okay so by using this factory i will create some dummy data inside users table so let's proceed with this so let's switch back to the terminal so inside this terminal firstly we will use php artisan tinker to interact the command line so i will type php artisan tinker let's hit enter yes we entered in the cell command line we will be calling the user factory method and by using that we will be inserting some dummy records inside users table so let's give full path of user model so we will pass app slash models slash user colon colon factory and then we will have to specify the count of the records so here let's suppose i want to insert 20 records so let's pass count as 20 and then we will call this create function all right it's done let's hit enter yes it inserted 20 records now let's come back to the database let me refresh it inside this users table we can see we have 20 records all right so we have the data inside users table for the testing purpose now let's come to the implementation of dumpable trait so inside this controller we have the user controller all right now let's create one function as public function get users all right and inside this get users function i will call user model user colon colon let's suppose we will pass all okay and for this function let's create one route inside web.php file so here i will call colon colon get users and inside this i will call this user controller class and function name as get users okay now let's try to access this but before accessing this i will put dump here or better we can capture this in one variable as users and let's put dump as dollar users okay and let's import this model at the top and we have the same class with the username so as of now let's comment this and i will call model as app models class user and uh, i don't require this constructor in these functions all right let's remove this okay this is done now now let's come back to the browser let's navigate to the route as users yes so we can see we have dumped the users record Now let's see the magic of the dumpable. So as of now, we have not used the dumpable trait. So we have used this dump and die helper function. All right. Similar to this dump and die, we have the 
dump helper function as just like this okay let's come back to the browser and let's refresh yes it dumped the records so basically the difference between dump and die and dump is the dump and die will terminate the execution of the code flow after dumping the records but this dump will dump the records and it will process the execution of the next line let's suppose if i will add echo here hey this is echo okay now let's refresh it you can see after dumping the user's record it printed this message but in the case of dump and die it want to go to the next line let's see yes so we are already familiar with dump and die and dump helper function now let's see the magic of dumpable trait so for that we will come to the users model so inside this app models we have this user model all right so at the very first step we will have to import that trait so we will type use illuminate support traits and we will call this dumpable trait okay and in order to use this dumpable trait we will have to call it inside this user model class okay so we can call the trait using huge keyword so inside this huge keyword we will call that dumpable trait so this is done so we have included this dumpable trait inside this user model okay now let's come back to the controller and here let's comment this dump and die and uh, let's add dollar users dump and die function all right so basically we have fetched all the users from the user model and we have stored inside this dollar users variable now using this dollar users object we can call the dump and die function directly all right let's come back to the browser and let's refresh it yes we can see we have the same results so instead of calling this dump and die helper function we can call this dump and die trait using the model object directly so in order to use this we will have to use this dumpable trait okay using this dumpable trait we can print the query as well so let's suppose instead of all i want to print this get all right and uh, let's add some condition just like order by id and descending okay and here let's pass dump and die okay now let's come back to the browser let's refresh it so we can see it printed query select asterisk from users order by id descending so this will make easier to debug our code and even we can debug the query as well and let's say if we will use dump instead of dump and die so here let's suppose i want to pass dump okay and then i want to get the users record let's save and let's come back to the browser let's refresh it yes we can see firstly it printed the query that is coming from the eloquent model select a string from users order by id descending and after that it fetched all the records from this users table so similar to this dump and die here we can call this dump as well now let's refresh it yes we can see firstly it displayed the users record and after that it printed this echo message all right everyone that wraps up our exploration of the dumpable traits in laravel 11 hopefully you now feel confident using dump and die and dump directly on your objects to streamline your debugging process remember the dumpable traits signs when you are working with custom classes and complex logic you need to inspect variables at different stages of your code don't forget remove or comment out debugging calls in production mode to keep things clean So thanks for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the Programming Fields for more Laravel tips and tutorials. And also feel free to leave a comment below with any question you might have about debugging in Laravel or any other development challenges you are facing. Until next time, happy coding.